But when I finished school, it was just like, you people's Lagos is the ghetto. <laughs> and God has been holding me by the hand like this and guiding me all through the Back at it, I don't know why I was so sure and why I was so adamant that this is what I wanted to do. Calm down. Do like this. Hey loved ones, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm super excited to be back in your spaces because I mean it's been months. <laughs> I think this year I've only showed up on YouTube like long form video once and I've been dropping some shots from time to time sharp. And I even dropped one recently that was saying that yeah, very soon I'll be back and da da da. Yep. But finally I'm back in your faces and you guys this video let's get comfortable, eh? Please ignore this sound. So guys, I have like um five major updates. Is it up to five? Let's say four. Four to five major updates that I have actually been up to that I would like to share with you. You know what I would do over here? Like when things happen, like just share experience and catch up on what has happened or any testimony that we would like to share with each other. So feel free to just drop a comment in the comment section and I'll be there to like celebrate with you and to like catch up with you as well so let's get right into this video i said we should relax abby are you comfortable do you need popcorn and drinks what do you need Clefe? so no just tell me let me get you what you need you don't need i just really want us to be very comfortable as this video is not a serious one in that sense we are not trying to like all get tense and everything i just just in i've actually really missed doing this guys so the number one update i would i, I think that's too generic let, don't let me put it that way let me just mention the fact that ever since i graduated like left school it has just been like this but ultimately what i'm thankful for is that god has been holding me by the hand like this and guiding me all through the way because in it is quite a short period of time for a lot of things to have happened just grateful graduated last year for those of us that you don't know now you know now you know <laughs> last year october 24th yes that was when i got inducted into the physiotherapy profession the graduation was around december i think it was 4th of december it has been amazing the transitioning from being an undergraduate to a graduate has been amazing because now you are an adult not just that adult that we used to, to shout when we were in school that adult is different but now you are on your own on your own you are trying to like figure things out for yourself there's you know when you're in school tangible percentage of your life is being sorted like not sorted in that sense like you already have a schedule to flow with you have class to go even if you don't attend class at least you know you would come back to write your test and exams you know that there's always something to look forward to while you are in school but graduating school and everything is just like silence like okay now you are the one taking the effort maybe for you it might be different because that person that is very active with extracurricular activities on um, like being out there going for events or going to volunteer and join societies and all that's quite good but it's still different because there's still a part of you that has been catered for because at least for me i still had quite a number of communities i joined but when i finished school it was just like not like i didn't have them anymore i there, there were some of them I don't have like access access to. Not, I don't know how to explain it to you. But now that we've all graduated, it's like we don't get to really come together, have meetings, have this stuff anymore. Everything was just like now you are consciously reaching out to do things that you you want to do with your life. Now, aside from whatever you've studied you are now consciously okay what's the next step what am i going to do even if you've been planning for your post school life it is still not that seamless there's still a while even if it's just for a few days few weeks maybe months and it's quite okay actually it's quite okay to be confused especially when you are a new graduate i would like to encourage you that it's just a phase and it will pass. If you don't enjoy a particular phase, it's going to go and it's going to go so fast. If you feel like this phase is going to be like, ah, oh, I can't wait to get yeah, right. Trust me, trust me. You will still feel like, okay, I could have 
actually enjoy this face because i was obviously going to leave this face do you know what that means actually it's something i'm still learning myself so yeah i graduated school yes i'm a graduate it's a few months later i moved into a new city and that's another whole level of navigating life because my parents were like okay just come come to come home you can do your internship because after school you are supposed to do like a one-year compulsory internship though it's paid it's like a regular nine to five but they call it internship i just wish you can make it our nyc but that's not story for this video oh so yeah come home now come home and let us do this internship at home i was like no it's not like i have a solid plan out there but no let me go outside outside there and start doing things on my own i understand that they are trying to shield me and guide me and this they, they are still guiding me even till now but it just felt like the best decision and it was so it was so strong it was just a strong decision that i had in my head it was as if i knew that no this is where i would do this internship i did not have any connection any form of explanation or how to go about all these things i was saying that i seemed so sure of but it was just me trusting god because looking back at it i don't know why i was so sure and why i was so adamant that this is what i wanted to do I'm just grateful to god that it went that way and so far it has been nice nice in, in all sense of it because this city this one that i'm current, currently in you people's lagos is the ghetto <laughs> forget the good stuff you people ah oh my god is it is it the time that i've been insulted by um all these bus drivers the time that um, somebody walking by the road we just do something weird and you just be like okay who is this or anybody that you don't just know they, ah, crazy people are plenty in this place so bomb. let's leave that by the side and there's actually um quite a number of things to learn because <laughs> now you have to be smart smart some people that seem friendly even though you think you think you know them maybe because you've shared space for a while maybe you are working together and everything just move somewhere and be like ah oh, okay last last this is lagos you have to actually it's everywhere it's not that hype about lagos the only thing that i feel like is the main problem of lagos is that there's all crazy people in lagos that's the only thing and there, there are crazy people everywhere too there's lagos zone is like hyped because there's a lot of people there and everybody is trying to like just also and try to make ends meet so they are just everybody's just bustling yes there's no there's no downtime in this place come outside by nights like this you still see everybody fighting like moving up and down ah please but it's fine it's fine we are surviving i eventually got my placement in one hospital they called me around november and i eventually resumed in january and you know that part of the bible that says god knows the end from the beginning before he born us like oh we were born rather <laughs> before we were born he already knew us from our mother's home exactly what it is because even when all those moments like each each step of the way i'll be like oh my god i'm so frustrated i'm this i'm da da da, da. after i got this job i was out hunting which leads me to the next point of i have my own apartment now like i eventually got an apartment that's i'm telling people the testimony first so that you don't like so anxious as i'm saying the process because that was how i was because for months since that november or roughly december till like march we were out hunting we were searching for out oh my god there's a video coming up on that and it will be so detailed because you guys what's good <laughs> That's what I'm saying now. That's what I'm saying. If I start talking now, they say I've started. You people, Lagos is is the ghetto. I won't go deep into that one, but I suffered. I suffered looking for a presentable apartment with the right budget, like with the right amount. Guys, what's wrong with Lagos agents? You will you see nice house. You'll be seeing rubbish. The house will be very nice, and you come outside like this. Everywhere is dirty. That you'll be living in finals but you'll be getting sick. What's that? What is that? What make it make sense? I'll be the one that the house will be very expensive. You'll be like, ah, 
okay let me sh just see maybe not too expensive just a bit above your budget and just oh yeah let me see if you enter the house you'll be surprised you even look at them and that you won't fear god why go take me go this house you will see the house eh? how's that you will need to like put a whole lot of things to make it make and by the time you are done you have spent more than your entire rent i'm not even talking about just rent because there's something yes that's one thing they do again there's something known as total package total package sometimes is like double your double your rent but let's not get into that you see this when that video comes out you guys should watch it i think it will go up after this video you guys will enjoy that video you just help me lament but i'm looking forward to your engagement and the energy by the time i post it yeah it, it was just divine leading because at that point you were about to pay for another one but this place is even just close enough to my workplace it is actually quite presentable at least it's not so bad for somebody that is just coming out from school and you're just starting your life basically so yeah help me give god all the glory hallelujah <laughs> thank you so the next thing is actually the setting up of this house that's what i'm saying you know problem when you finish because you just be feeling like okay yeah i'm done with this oh god thank you oh god thank you but you get another one you still be anxious and worried about some other things you moved into the house and it was bit by bit the first thing we got in this house was the bed frame <laughs> bed frame was the only thing i had in this house when we like when we were about to move in we had to get the mattress to, to join in um also store are expensive ah this you people do not tell me that this is the real adult to the bed mattress i do what they call it mattress whatever foam eh hmm lord of jesus it is just so ridiculous when you hear some prices especially in this economy with the way things are now like double the price triple the price for the food price so you guys it's just so crazy and you just be like okay steadily steadily just be managing yourself taking things a step at a time because if you are worrying nothing it's not going to stop anything i i remember one quote that i have on my phone i saved it a, a while back i think it was like two years ago or something god did it eventually i just panicked that is how life is go, 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 go. because you know all these our rubbish rubbish panic though it's normal it's just our human response to these things if you are not worried about your situation it means something is wrong with you i'm sorry to say but i think that is what it is at the same time you don't have to like make it seem like you're the one that is going to sort you you, you didn't create yourself you can't do things without the person that created you but that created you created you for something you know where you are going so don't be too worried you don't you don't have to panic if we get it done hmm? calm down do like this <laughs> so the last thing that i'll be talking about is an announcement that i have launched my first i won't say course it's not a course it's a digital um program let me just call it like that it's like a membership store but it's mainly for youtubers yeah any youtuber out there that is on the verge of giving up on youtube you people you should register for this course because you guys everything you need is there accountability and consistency is there actually that's the main purpose of that program in the first place so it was actually because i thought a lot of content creators especially youtubers they struggle with um consistency and accountability especially when there is nothing to like show for it especially when you are not monetized when you are not seeing the results maybe people are not engaging your content as you want them to you just feel motivated to create and all these things and it can be draining i understand how that feels i've been there but one thing i keep telling myself is that you can actually go the way you want to go on youtube but what has been holding me back is myself like i've been the one who did myself back i had to like come into that realization that when i am ready to make it on youtube i will make it on youtube when i'm ready to put in the time and effort so this is me putting in the time and effort and i am carrying along interested individuals interested youtubers along to actually put in our effort our best effort and time into youtube from the fact that there's going to be consistency plan 
and accountability systems put in place to make your channel move from where it is to like higher level like to just set the pace for the growth of your youtube channel in the next quarter you know this is the second quarter of the year maybe at the beginning of this year you've told yourself that this year i'm going to do this i'm going to pick up my it's not no it's by action don't use your words you know if you are ready to take your channel to the next level this is the course for you it is not necessarily a course okay let me just call it a plan for you yeah this is the plan for you make sure you register via the link in the description box it is a seller account i think i'll just pin the comment as well the link just click on that link yes it's right below mm -hmm. just click on it like that and go and register it is just for fifteen thousand era it is originally supposed to be for twenty thousand era, but because of the economy situation of nigeria it is not only for nigeria so but because of the economy situation of nigeria and because i want it to be at very affordable amount that's why i reduced it to 15k from 20k so you people click on it and register and be ready to like take your channel to the next level sincerely because there's a lot of things outlined is on the screen right now like some of the things that you'll be gaining from this plan and consistency plan check it on the screen right now and i'm very sure you would see something that you're interested in if you're a youtuber you see something you're interested in so that's all guys and i think i'm done with all the updates that i have tell me about what you've been up to i'd like to hear from you thank you for watching this video to this point <laughs> if you actually watch to this point you deserve an award where i should just give you the award right now like take let's snap let's post with our award <laughs> you are a loved one and i really appreciate that thank you so much for sticking by me and yes let me even say that a lot of people quite a number not a lot like that they are just starting you know the messages here and then like when are you coming back to youtube why are you not posting this da, 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 on my insta story share i've been saying i've been dropping some life update stuff like i've been posting in real time so if you want to like follow me on instagram for extra content because content on instagram is like different from content on youtube the instagram it is where i can just pick up my phone and record something that is going on currently and you know how these things go now and even on my feed all this aesthetically fashion tip beauty tips even personal development tips basically you want to follow me on all social media platforms it is at lola underscore tm for all of them tiktok instagram youtube those three for now follow me thank you so much for watching i was mm, so thanks for <laughs> wait did i forget how to say this thing i was going on <laughs> so thank you so much for watching i appreciate you watching this video once again like this video give it a thumbs up do not forget to drop a comment and subscribe to my channel share this link with your friends your foe your family members everybody your co-workers your colleagues your friends in school everybody share that you know that you can send this video to please don't send it to bad belly or we don't want negativity yeah this is a love zone so that is why you people are my loved ones i'll see you in my next video bye